Thank you very much. I'm very proud. And we have the cabinet out there in the other room. Oh, good. That this will go in. The cabinet maker is waiting to find out how you like it. Well, and made from wood from that at Marine. Right. right. <laughs> well, listen, thank you. The original key that he found was an antique. And he gold plated it, which I wish he had. And he wanted me to give it to Nancy, but they say I can't say that. I gave it to you because I'm not supposed to be giving it to you. That's her initial thought there. It well, says Valley Florine date unknown. We don't know when this key was. See all the different shapes of the home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's the key to the uh, That's the key to the cabinet. To the cabinet. For her to wear around her neck. Have well, a little bit of your heritage right here. Well, <laughs> well, thank you very much. And I wanted to praise your offices of uh, private sector initiatives who've worked with me on the books that I do, and especially the one in the USIA, because they are translating one of my children's books to Russian for your cultural change program. Well, that's wonderful. We're finally figuring out that the hope of the future is with uh, the children. Yes. They're going to take care of us when we're older, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> so I, I, you have the award for eight years, and I'll give you another one till 85. Oh. Because sir, I don't think anybody can really come up to snuff with what we've tried to do for volunteers. Oh. I've tried to help. I've sent you to a few programs in the school. Do you have any suggestions? I sent you to the Posse and FEMA. <laughs> you remember that one with the cowboy yes, hat? Oh, yes. And uh, I have a bank of information. So that. <laughs> President John Kevin Hill. Well, congratulations. Good to see you, and that was quite a piece. Thank you. I'm all for you. Thank 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 you. And it's all time to gather around. Both of us here for uh, a family picture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Good night, Mike Willis. It's okay. Well, you know, I've seen a few of these in my time. <laughs> With the rattlers. Yep. And he also had some pictures that were yeah. taken at the airport. And let's see. Oh, that's quite a king. Mm -hmm. And this is my picture on my paper. It's all the grass for you. Yeah. Well, thank you. And this is some pictures of, of his landing in Washington, D.C. Okay. And that was at National Airport down there. Yes. I should have been looking out the window of this from upstairs. You can see the planes landing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you just came with, in without letting me know. <laughs> Never knew about it, but they made canes out of it. They can do everything. Well. Thank you so much, sir. I always have high leather boots on, so you can be pretty brave with regard to snakes, knowing that you know they can't puncture those boots. And uh, one day I was out there with some friends that went a weekend, and we were doing a little shooting, and all of a sudden, a little boy, the son of my friend Taylor, son came running, snake, snake, and so forth. Well, I went over, and it was a rattlesnake, and uh, I couldn't see find a rock big enough to kill it. And he was getting away into the rocks, so I stomped on his head with my heel. And then looked down. I had tennis sneakers on. 
that day. <laughs> I think about that every once in a while. What if I had missed? I was so used to being in yeah. boots. <laughs> well, let me. Uh, I'm doing well, aren't I? <laughs> but if I give you one of these, Thank you. then uh, <laughs> it'll be easier for me. And you get the pen and pencil set. Oh, thank you. And for you is the pen. Thank you very much. Souvenirs from the office. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. Thank you. And thank the, you. charm. But also I have something else for you here. We both seem to be big in pictures today, so <laughs> oh. I appreciate those for you, and I just thought you might have that. Mm, yeah. then, oh, yeah. <laughs> I heard on television your ideas about uh, astronauts and so forth, yeah. and Life magazine has just done a big book that takes us through the whole history. And not only our astronauts, but clear back to the German rockets and Werner von Braun and all of that in, in wartime. And, uh, and there it goes all the way, the whole yeah, I have history of like space. Not like this, but space. Well, Great. all right. Thank you for starting with space. Well, <laughs> yes, I understand you were made a, one of our young astronauts. We had an exchange with the Soviets. They had that. We had that, them here once, and the, our young people were over there. So. And one other thing, uh, Mr. Reagan, uh, we want to say that the FAA, FAA uh, we couldn't have made the flight without it. Well, they uh, they helped us all the way across. We talked to them the last uh, 30 minutes of the flight. Uh, it took them three and a half minutes to track them, tell me when they were going to arrive, uh, and everything was fine. Wow. FAA is great. Couldn't do without them. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> but again, something really good. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. I run for a third time. <laughs> uh, can't do that. Oh, I'm I'm the state state. All the <laughs> aviation uh, education. Yes, hi. 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 Twin boys, this is Christopher, oh, Andrew, pardon me, Andrew, and Anne Hathner, Mr. Yes. And Anna's son, so uh, director of your National Museum Board. Yes. yes. I you. have been really, really oh, more smart enough person than anybody can ever want. And I understand that birthdays in a couple of days. Yes. Yes. Uh, happy birthdays. Their 16-year-old brother who is uh, about your height and weighs 230 pounds, uh, plays tackle. <laughs> he more than he, he, he couldn't quite get him up there. Well, but he's why don't you get in the middle and why don't we all kind of gather around oh, the family picture? Okay. There you go. Okay. Okay. Oh, thank you. Yeah, come on over. <laughs> there. Thank you. Thank okay, you. Marianne? Oh, you want to? Our friend Bert Smith said be sure you to say hello if I should ever see you again. Right over here on this side. Oh, I say Bert Smith said to say hello if I should see you again. Oh, you you're remember Bert? Best, yes. Souvenirs. Now, yeah, we'll these are key rings with the national seal on it. That's tie bar. Thank you, sir. The ladies' pins. Oh, thank, thank, thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. President. Thank you, wonderful. When, when your time permits, we hope that we'll have you in San Diego or Orange County for the Link the Joint Lincoln Club and a uh, Golden Eagle Club uh, meeting. They'd love to have you too. Well, you know it's the time is busy. Yes. <laughs> so we'll take a look at the schedule. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. So here in the end from now, I might have a lot of time in my hands. <laughs> and we have no criticism, all praise for you and Nancy. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. So good but to see you again. You're leaving us. Yeah, I am. I am. Let me, let me just a second here. Let me fix this. 
Yes. Okay, right. thank you. Looks, nice. Yeah, a little souvenir. Oh, Just a thank souvenir. You. Thank you. Well, sometime, sometime, me. someday, I want to get together and talk to you about things we haven't talked about. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Luke Peterson. Hi. I'm Jessica. Jessica. Hi. Hello there. Hello there. As my wife. Well, nice to see you. You and I are going over in front of the fireplace. That sounds good to me, sir. And then when that's okay, you all come in and we'll get a family picture of it. Stay here and Site A. Peterson, United States Marine Corps, distinguished himself by exceptionally superior service as Marine Corps aide to the President of the United States from June 1984 to July 1987. Major Peterson continually displayed superior leadership, exemplary foresight, and tireless efforts which were paramount importance to the President and the United States. In this highly visible position, he routinely planned and coordinated numerous events of national and international significance. His role as emergency actions officer for the presidential travel was accomplished with expertise and professionalism. Major Peterson served as a White House agent responsible for supervising the use of Department of Defense resources supporting Commander-in-Chief travel throughout the world. His performance as military coordinator for the 1985 Geneva summer and the 1986 visit to Grenada was particularly noteworthy and contributed immeasurably to the office of the President and the effectiveness of the White House military office. The distinctive accomplishments of Major Peterson reflect great credit upon himself, the United States Marine Corps, and the Department of Defense. All right. I've seen me do this to others and have a stab and I hope I can keep my record clean. Yes, sir. There. Thank you very much, sir. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, Pete. Okay. We're going to miss you. Now we can all come in. And I think it'll be prettier if you're in the middle. And we know that the young ladies can be here in front of us. You can smile, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've been in good company here, too. Thank you, sir. It's been, it's been my pleasure. Well, it really has. There must be times when they'll wear cut things. You. Thank you very much. And maybe the children for school and so forth can use some book bags. <laughs> can you Thank Thank you. use a book bag? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're more than welcome. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate uh, working for you for the past three years. And well, well, listen, I appreciate all you've done. It's been wonderful. <laughs> yes, Thanks a lot. Has. All right. Jessica. Well, well, nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Bye. Well. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye